What is going on cryptocurrency investors? My name is Landon and today we are talking about the 7th top cryptocurrency on coin market cap, that being Cardano ADA. It is currently trading at 20 cents USD with a 5.2 billion dollar market cap, a quarter of a billion dollars in 24 hour volume which is actually relatively high, nowhere near their almost 2 billion dollars in 24 hour volume that was achieved back in the third week of January 2018 when the overall market cap was pushing $1 trillion, and the price of Cardano was almost $1.30 USD. Considering where the market cap is right now, Cardano has fared very well, and the last 24 hours have seen a pump, with the last 12 hours retracing some of that pump. However, the overall market cap has retained a good chunk of that $25 billion plus injection over the last 24 hours, Cardano retaining almost all of that, just barely in the negative right now, Headed by Charles Hoskinson, Cardano is a distributed computing platform that runs on the blockchain for ADA. It was created by a blockchain development firm, IOHK, and led by Charles Hoskinson, who is the former co-founder of BitShares, Ethereum, and Ethereum Classic. Cardano is part of the Blockchain 3.0 evolution to understand where cryptocurrency has been, with Bitcoin's initial release being Blockchain 1.0, along with Ethereum and smart contracts being Blockchain 2.0, Blockchain 3.0, is decentralized applications avoiding centralized infrastructure it is really the next logical step in the adaptation and innovation of this remarkably innovative and disruptive technology blockchain 4.0 is making blockchain usable and sustainable in industry competing with and often being much better than current existing infrastructure that being point of sale systems and logistics companies that are fine tuned and tailored to their industry and they acquire through licensing and purchasing. This industry being a privatized sector has its limitations that blockchain technology is looking to open up completely. Cardano's website is cardano.org and their philosophy is very concisely broken down. Cardano began in 2015 a decentralized application focus rather than what Bitcoin does in being a distributed ledger and an alternative alternative form of currency, and then Ethereum with its self-executing smart contracts, Cardano is in the spirit of all other open source projects. It did not begin with a comprehensive roadmap or even an authoritative white paper. It embraced a collaboration of design principles, engineered best practices, and avenues for exploration. It is all detailed at cardano.org under the white paper tab of Cardano. You can see a very detailed explanation from Charles Hoskinson himself on the Cardano whiteboard. Keep in mind, I have seen an interview after this where he said he was running on no sleep up for days in development of ADA and they asked him to do a whiteboard presentation. It's very well done considering that he's doing it on no sleep and it shows his absolute wealth of knowledge for blockchain technology and his experience in the industry for being able to actually execute this and it being a very good example of Cardano Explained. Of course, as with most other assets, it has a Reddit, which is probably the primary source for anybody looking on relevant news and up-to-date information regarding the releases of Cardano. The biggest news surrounding Cardano lately is the first testnet had launched and the overall market was in a retracement at that point when it launched, so Cardano dropped a staggering 27% the day the testnet launched. However, the following bull run, which we just experienced yesterday, saw them doing much better than the rest of the market because the success of the testnet. KEV.M is the new testnet. It's a stack-based machine, which is an executable form of semantics at the Ethereum Ethereum virtual machine, the EVM. It's the first ever Cardano smart contracts corrected by an EVM, specified in the K framework. And IOHK has tweeted, first Cardano smart contracts testnet launches today, the K-EVM testnet. This is the first time that a complete formal semantics of the EVM have been produced and important first in cryptocurrency that is a step towards building third generation blockchains. Charles Hoskinson, the CEO of Cardano, tweeted, which is a Pimp My Ride reference. Yo dog, I heard you like smart contracts. So we put smart contracts in your smart contracts on a blockchain. Cardano CL's first testnet has been released. 
all of the developers are allowed to take any application that runs on the EVM and test it on the K-EVM to prove the complete working of that smart contract. The testnet is executed by specifying the desired property from the contract in K and combining the contract with the K-EVM specification. Further, the K framework can be used to verify all the existing properties. The tech is produced by runtime verification with the support of IOHK. It's an important step towards the promise of third generation blockchains and fully functional working products that we can really see the development of blockchain 3.0 get completely realized. The geniusness that will be developed on Cardano has yet to even be released. There are many development teams working on Cardano and the future is very bright. A Reddit user has criticized them saying all they care about is the mooning of the asset and they think every update will take them there. Another one says, why is there so little attention given to this product? It's literally the only one worth anything. And that is a very misguided statement, as is the first one. If anybody is familiar with Charles Hoskinson and have done their wealth of research on Cardano, you're well aware that he is positive towards the future of blockchain. And he's a very, very good asset for the community in developing Cardano and to continue to be a influencer in the spearheading of this underground revolution that is alternative of digital currency as countries around the world continue to go more and more cashless and as major companies investigate the use of blockchain for their systems and daily transactions I have very little doubt in the future of Cardano being very bright. We are going to look at some technical analysis for the asset because I know that's what the majority of you are coming to this video for. When Moon, when Lambo, when is the next bull run? Cardano, much like the rest of the industry, is very dependent on this market cap. Moreover, it's very dependent also on this Bitcoin dominance at over 39 percent it's a far cry from altcoin season and many have been predicting a big bull run to happen at some point this year catapulting us to all-time highs that we experienced over six months ago now will that happen the longer it holds out the less confident i am that we will push beyond all-time highs for market cap however a good start would be to watch this bitcoin dominance as bitcoin dominance drops projects like cardano will continue to see increases in volume they have a long way to go before they reach their all-time highs of just under a dollar 30 but is that achievable this year with the ongoing successes along with the increased market capitalization of the entire market i really do see that being a possibility all we can do is continue to monitor the markets and watch as Cardano and the rest of this industry continues to evolve. Heading over to tradingview.com, the most upvoted chart, and in my opinion, one of the more simplified charts, shows that Cardano is about to reach bottom if it has not already. It is currently in an oversold position, so one would expect a reversal as is indicated by this one candlestick and the subsequent candlestick that started at 2700 Satoshis. And if we look at the chart, for where we are today still trading above the 2700 satoshi support level that we've recently retained so a bull run could be in the cards an increase in value could come around for cardano although as you can see by previous price history there's a lot of barriers to get through before we get to the top however as with the rest of the market this is an up-and-coming industry it's very emerging and incredibly disruptive it is going to take its fair share of time likely far longer than the average cryptocurrency investor is thinking it will for us to really gain market dominance and really start to compete with the existing program base that is out there that is not connected or powered by distributed ledger algorithms. As I say often, much of the landscape in the top 100 should dramatically change over the course of the year as new evolutions of blockchain tech start to become a reality as many of the assets in the top 25 are launching a mainnet very soon and that will act as a foundation for future incredible incredibly innovative and incredibly awesome applications to be built on. There are applications in the works for some of these assets that are launching a mainnet. As Cardano just recently launched a testnet, the future has yet to even be written in code, let alone released or discussed publicly. So continue to monitor because this is a hyper evolving market that if you blink, you might miss something very important. There are other technical analysis on Cardano that indicate that a reversal is showing some 
signs of happening. It's not confirmed yet because today we've peeled back a little bit, losing some of the value that we just gained. However, that is par for the course with the ebb and flow of these very volatile markets. Keep it locked right here for all of the evolving news in cryptocurrency. And smash that like button if you found this video informative on what Cardano is and what they have in store. The success of the testnet and another one to be launched in July shows incredible promise for the future of this asset. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Landon and until next time.